What's up, YouTube? So today I want to discuss how to make phaser leads in Vital. So if you don't know what those are, it's quite a popular sound nowadays with the more kind of nano record style music. Um, I hear it a lot in kind of asterisk stuff as well. So yeah, anyway, let's dive in and have a look. So I've got a track here that I'm currently working on and I actually wanted to put this type of lead in the spot and I figured I might as well make a video out of it. So yeah, like I said, I actually really, really like the sound of the phaser filter that's built into Vital. So yeah, without further ado, let's open up Vital and discuss how to create this sound. So generally speaking, I find that this kind of sound does sound better on a FM source or something that's a little bit more complex than a basic shapes waveform. So let's quickly just set up something like that by um, just sec uh, enabling a second oscillator, switching this over to basic shapes, and we can leave it on the default saw wave. Let's detune both of these oscillators to minus 12. Um, so just a quick pro tip, I have mentioned this in a previous video. If you hold shift, it allows you to tune these uh, things per octave, which makes it a little bit easier, um, you know, than having to uh, punch in minus 12, minus 24 each time. Anyway. Uh, let's set this over here to FM oscillator 2 and let's turn the volume down of oscillator 2. Let's have a quick listen to what we're dealing with so far. Cool, that is so far so good. So what I want to do is I want to enable the filter. We can set this drop down menu over here, go to phaser, uh, find the negative sounds a little bit better and we can move this all the way over to the far right hand side and then we can turn the resonance up quite a bit we don't want to go above kind of like let's say 90 percent that's when it starts to get a little bit ringy um but we'll experiment with the exact values shortly once we've kind of set up the patch exactly how we want it to Cool, nice robotic sound. Um, I've discussed the various kind of random modulators uh, in Vital, but I don't believe I've showed you guys the note on random capabilities yet. So how you enable that is with this little section over here, you just drag it over and drop it onto the parameter that you want to modulate. So now what happens is each time we trigger a note, it's going to generate a new value and modulate that parameter by that value. <laughs> Nice, so far so good. So the trick here is to create a gate pattern for, um, you know, so something that's like either something a little bit more complex than 16th, so having re-triggers and stuff in there. A little pro trick that I want to show you guys. Uh, you've got this auto quantize in Cubase. I'm sure Ableton, Bitwig and all the other DAWs have it as well. So if we have our quantize uh, preset set to one over 16 and we hit record, we can just mash in a bunch of notes randomly. Um, well, I'm going to choose one note and mash it in because I want it to be in the same key as the bass. And it's going to kind of shift all of those notes onto the grid. So check this out. Let's just hit record and I'm just going to hit a bunch of notes. So there was no rhythm there. I literally just double tapped on the uh, single key and came up with a little rhythm there. And now what it's done is it's automatically shifted it onto the grid. So it's going to kind of sound slightly rhythmical. We might have to do a little bit of kind of fine tuning and editing here and there. But this is cool when using like these kind of random note on random kind of things. So let's just fine tune this a bit and see what we can come up with. Cool, that sounds good like it is. So now the trick is to kind of like break this up into parts. So I want to keep this in case we're going to do like a kind of main section later on um, and then just remove all of these and then duplicate it again. And then what I can do is enable the scissors and let's just cut it like this. Um, if you hold Alt and cut one piece, it will kind of cut it sequentially the same size, if that makes sense. It's a Cubase only thing anyway. So then let's kind of shift it out, you know, kind of uh, create a more sparse rhythm uh, using these little chunks that we've cut. And then we can apply like a delay and reverb onto the sound. <laughs> So generally speaking, um, I like a 1 over 8 dotted uh, or a 1 over 4 and I generally go with a ping pong as well. And let's just turn this feedback up quite a bit and we can play with this, uh, these settings over here. 
and let's just enable some reverb. So the other trick with this reverb is to use some of these filter settings to kind of filter the tail of the reverb to kind of make it sound a bit less uh, like a digital reverb. You're kind of just getting a little bit of the tail through on the high end. What I also like to do is to play a little bit with the main envelope. So that'll be like the amplitude envelope of the sound. Um, so I will kind of r reduce the decay. A nice thing about this is you kind of get this nice visualization so you can kind of see exactly where the note is ending on the grid and you can kind of fine tune it to that. And what we can do is we can set a random modulator to the sustain. And <clears throat> so like randomly it'll open it and close it if that makes sense. So what I want to do is I discussed this in the previous episode, this uh, mod remap. So I'm not going to go too in depth with this, but what I want to do is I want to use the mod remaps to change the modulation shape of the sustain. So it's kind of like either fully open or fully closed. And we can kind of choose at which points it does that. So it kind of suits the filter modulation, if that makes sense, kind of get them playing nicely together. <laughs> And then we can put in a little bit of distortion just for good measure. But I mean, that's neither here nor there. It doesn't affect the sound too much. So yeah, that's pretty much it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save this preset for my Patreon for all my $5 supporters. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't yet, then consider subscribing. And yeah, don't forget to hit that like button. And like I said, I'm going to be posting this preset to my Patreon for all my $5 supporters. So if you want to know what that's all about, check out the link in the description. See you guys next time. Cheers.